trailer to de-rust it. Um, I thought about using the grinder with the stripping disc, um, just because that will get way smoother, way quicker. But A, these are expensive. B, it's all going to be hidden. Um, so that's just a waste of time and money um, to do that. So instead what we'll do is sand it. Bought some new discs today. Gonna use 80 grit. Unfortunately, I only have a battery powered orbital sander, so I'm sure I'll have to take a break, let the batteries charge and stuff. After that, use Eastwood Fast X, which I've got in this bottle. Is what I did here. Um, just the fast edge, so it's still a little rough, but totally removes the rust, leaves a zinc coating. Um, so that's what we'll do afterwards. Again, it's not going to be perfectly smooth, but that's totally fine. Um, and then hopefully tonight, probably maybe tomorrow morning, I'll actually take the trailer to my shop, remove the exterior rust. Hopefully this won't take too long, but I'm sure it'll take longer than I think, as everything does. So the reason I'm saying is from the sandblasting to remove all the paint, this is really, really rough. Um, doesn't really matter, but just at least want to smoothen it out um, and obviously de-rust it before we prime it. But holy moly, it is loud with the sander. <laughs> Fast etch, so it's acidic um, acid based rust remover, uh, leaves a zinc phosphate coating. So, the important part of that um, is prevents rust. I want to make this a very safe, rust free environment, which surprises me at the amount of uh, traders that I see that don't do that. up on camera still rusty and then nice no rust has a nice zinc coating to it takes a little bit more elbow, elbow grease than I thought um, but man I hate doing stuff overhead <laughs> weld these in because I realize I got to do that before I paint the inside. Well, it just makes the most sense to. So just because of the scraps that I have, I'm going to split it in two. I'm going to do one there, one here, which I'll probably end up doing trim to hide this seam anyways, which is what we'll be doing up there as well. Yeah, I'm at the point in this project where I'm a little overwhelmed with like, what do I do next? Um, there's about a thousand directions that I could go, especially with like, what am I doing for the flooring? What order, what should I do before I paint the inside? Stuff like that. We gotta share, buddy. I gotta say this one to your sisters. You can't eat all no. You can't eat all of it. <laughs> she might attack you. They're sniffing your car like they're gonna move in. <laughs> Got all our weld spots prepped. It's all painted, primed, and painted. 
And this time we got this little helper. So she's gonna wear the welding gloves so she doesn't get scared and burnt. I ain't scared. Oh really? Then why is there a gap right there? <laughs> You know what hold of pressure means? That was literally all the pressure I owned! All the pressure you own. We're nice and against. I think I might want to do a couple more weld spots though. Definitely need to just splice that one up and take out where I got mad in all those places. That is totally enclosed. Still gonna do a few more. Well, goodness gracious. Oh my gosh, I got stuff all over the phone just now. I'm an idiot, goodbye.